Hello friends. Today I am going to demonstrate you the various pore closure techniques used in laparoscopy. It is very important that in laparoscopy port should be adequately closed because if the 10 mm port you will not close it properly always you have a risk of hernia. The 10 mm port not closed properly will have the incidence of 0.5 to 2 percent hernia. After surgery within one year of time your patient can return back to you anytime with the hernia. And now you have to explain or you may have to do it free because it is considered as the surgical complication. So we should must close the 10 mm ports in laparoscopic surgery. Today I am going to demonstrate you how you will do the port closure in laparoscopic surgery. There are various devices which is used for port closure needle. First thing you should use a suture that could be the proline also or you can use vicryl as well. After that you need a device. The first and the most popular device of the port closure is called as facial closure needle. This is facial closure needle. This needle if you will see very carefully there is a jaw there and this jaw is opening to hold the suture. But the care should must be taken that in this jaw there is one groove and the suture should must be in this groove. If suture is not in the groove you have a problem. And in those situations, you can have the breakage of the facial closure needle. If you will type in the Google the broken facial closure needle, then you have many articles published in which various surgeons have shown that during the surgery their facial closure needle was broken and it was lost in the abdominal cavity. So you should be very careful that it should be carefully you should entangle the suture in the groove there. So suppose you have a nylon, you should use 45 cm suture for port closure. And after that, you will put it this in this groove here, this is in the groove. If it is not in the groove, suppose it is on the base, then it is risky because the jaw will remain open. As we can see, the, the jaw is open. And once it is open, accidentally you can prick it and accidentally it will break from here and it will be dropped into the abdominal cavity or lost in the muscles or periperitoneal. So always we should hold it and put this suture in this groove. Now it will not be open. Now you can see the jaw is nicely closed. After that you have to start it for introducing. So how to do? This is the, suppose this is the port and you have a 10 millimeter port here. This is a 10 millimeter port. And here it is, now this is 10 millimeter port. Now you should take the needle and you go by the side of this needle, taking care that the skin should not be taken. You should not take a skin and the rest of the layer, except a skin, you will prick it like that. Once you will prick it, then under vision with the other telescope should be in the another port. And the under vision you will now take this open the jaw and take the facial closure out and leave the suture inside. As we can see this suture is now in, suture is left inside. After that again you go from other side, hair will go from other side except a skin, all the layer will be taken and you prick it. And then again under vision you will hold this suture, go and hold this suture, catch it and then slowly you will pull it out. And here both the end of this suture is out. Once this suture is out, then we should take the, remove the gas and take the cannula out and then you can tie the, the square knot. So here simple square knot can be tightened or you can use the surgeon's knot also. And here we can see this is the closing the port and this port is closed. So now there will be no chance of hernia. Again you can take another and again you can tie the another knot and port is completely closed. Once the port is closed, you will see that gas leaking will stop and that itself is one of the evidence that port is tightly closed. So this is the first instrument which is used for the port closure. I am just cutting it with the scissors so that I can show you the another instrument. 
so this is we are cutting it and now the port is open so this is the first instrument now second instrument which is used for the port closure is this is called as cobbler's needle this is also a very beautiful instrument that is called as cobbler's needle cobbler's needle is uh, very e effective and it is more easier than the facial closure needle now this cobbler's needle has handle and there is shaft and it has a protective cover so first you have to remove this protective cover this protective sheath is given so that needle should not bend or needle should not break so it is out and after that you can see here that it has a beautiful like a various needle and when i am pressing one needle comes out when i leave this jaw goes in when we press this jaw comes out and this is just like the cobblers which is used by the shoe makers to suture and this is called as cobbler's needle a cobbler's needle is very effective way of port closure and you can use it very easily for 10 mm port so what to do again you will take a suture same way 45 cm suture and then you will open the jaw here open the jaw and then entangle the suture in the cobbler's needle now it is holding the suture after that you should hold the cobbler's needle like a dart this is the way to hold it like a dart and then cannula should not be removed cannula will remain there if you have removed the cannula then you have to occlude the gas leak by putting your thumb so better to cannula to keep it and you need one 5 mm telescope in another 5 mm port or if you don't have a 5 mm port then you may need one another 10 mm with a 10 mm telescope and you will transfer the telescope in the another 10 mm remember all the port closures should must be under vision you should not do it blind and then you hold it like a dart and then again you will prick it you will not take a skin except a skin all the layers should be taken and it is pricked in once it is pricked in then inside view will be something like that and inside what you will do you will just open the jaw and pull it out and we can see here that this port closure needle is leaving the suture inside and coming out it is out other side again other side you will hold it like a dart and exactly in the center of the other side of the abdominal wall you will go oblique going oblique is important so that only the muscle and rectus and peritoneum should be taken A skin should not be taken and again you will prick it and once it is pricked then again you go inside open the jaw catch the suture and then you will pull out the suture suture is out once the suture is out here also you remove the gas by opening the valve and then take it out and then under vision you will tie again the surgeon's knot so this is uh, uh, tightened by your hand you will not use any instrument and you can tight it and as we can see as soon as i tight it see the port is closed now there is no gas leak will be there and entire port is closed so this is a very effective technique again you can take first time double wrap followed by two opposite alternating wrap that is the configuration of surgeon's knot and again you will tie it remember a skin will be separately stitched or you can use cyano acrylate glue or you can use the skin stapler for the skin but rest of the layer like the um, this muscle rectus and peritoneum should be used with the port closure needle so this is done so this is the second uh, technique of uh, closing the port that is cobbler's needle now the third effective technique of the closing of the port is that j needle port closure device that j needle port closure device is also very effective this is the device here this is the j needle port closure device and this is also made for port closure this instrument if you will see here it has a j shaped needle and it has a hole at the tip and there is a knob in the back when i am rotating this knob the needle comes out needle is out and when i will rotate this knob other side this needle is disappeared now needle is disappeared when i am rotating it to anti clockwise needle is on when i am rotating clockwise needle is off so this is a very good 
specially designed port closure needle for laparoscopic surgery. Now how to use this needle I am going to demonstrate you. So here you will use again same way. You will use a long suture and I am using here again 45 centimeter suture and this is the suture which you will take it. After that you feed the suture in the eye of the needle. Here this is the eye of the needle and I am feeding the suture in the eye of the needle and it is feeded. After that you just rotate the needle to just hide the tip of the needle it is hidden now. Now what you do you have this port this is 10 millimeter port and you have to close. Now what you do you introduce this port closure needle completely inside the cannula and here it goes everything together go inside the cannula and inside after going inside you will open the jaw and once you will open this needle comes out once needle comes out then you will pull it to just fix it with the cannula itself and after that you will pull the cannula back so you can see here I am pulling the cannula back and as soon as you will pull the cannula back this itself will take a bite over the suture and here the bite is taken over the suture over the abdominal wall now you will take one end of the suture out here we have the one end of the suture out and then you can hold it by one artery forcep again you will push the same needle back same needle back and then rotate into the other direction and again you pull it and again another prick will be taken on the other side here you pull it and see this needle is pricking it and another bite is also taken and then again take the suture out so this way you can do it two times and then port can be easily closed so this is also a very effective way of port closure again I will show you how to do if you have to do it just you push the cannula in cannula in and then rotate it to the other side this is the other side this is the other side and again pull the cannula out and as soon as you pull it the bite is taken on the other side and then another side of suture you will take it out so this way you can close the port with this instrument so I will show you it is out both the side bite is taken here after that again you push it in and then you hide the needle by rotating this knob in the back you will hide the needle and once the needle is hidden here now it is hidden you can see it is hidden then it will come in the cannula and then cannula also together will be taken out and after that you can tie the knot so you can hold it and you can here you go and just tie the surgeon's knot and see here also port is closed and there is no leak so this is called as J shaped port closure needle which is manufactured by the Ohm Surgicals in India and it is available by other company also and port is closed and how you will know that port is properly closed there will be no gas leak so this is the uh, third technique of closing the port now the fourth technique of closing the port you can use the aneurysm needle these type of aneurysm needles are available in the market and it is very effective for port closure this aneurysm needle has to be done under vision and you have to use a, a blade a BP handle and BP handle should entangle the abdominal wall to lift it up and then you can take a bite safely so how to do this is a suture and you will feed it into the eye of this aneurysm needle like this here it is going and feeding into the eye of the aneurysm needle after that take 6 cm out and bend it and then you can take a simple bite like that and it is going and in other side you will come out under vision you should must be careful that one of the Ellis forceps should lift it and then again coming out and once it comes out to the other side you will just remove the other end of the suture here and then aneurysm needle will be taken back and it is back after that now it is ready to tie the knot and here we go and again similarly one surgeon's knot 
first time double wrap followed by two opposite alternating wrap you will tie and the port will be closed so this is how the port closure can be done and see here again port is closed and this is how you will do with the aneurysm needle aneurysm needle can be used for safe port closure after that the last technique which is a our own technique which is devised by me in year 2003 and since then it is popular this is called as various needle port closure technique this is very useful and you can use the port closure with the various needle so now i will show you how to use various needle port closure you should take the needle part of the various needle a stylet has to be removed after that again you take the 45 cm suture so i am taking here 145 cm suture this is 45 cm suture after that feed this suture into the eye of the various needle so you will hold it like that and feed the suture into the eye of the various needle here it is going into the eye of the various needle through the through the complete hole and after that it will come back here this is on the back and it is now ready this is here and then what you do you tie a knot here so you will take it and you tie a knot simple knot will be tightened you should keep it little loose so it will be like a bow and you can take a square knot and you will tie a knot so the purpose is that this will make a loop and the purpose of this various needle is to pull the loop through the loop and then tie the close tie the port so this is done and this is a square knot you will tie it after that you trim the suture trim the tip of the suture and here these are the two end of the sutures and we will trim it away so this is this will be cut it is cut and now it is away and then this is ready for as a port closure instrument this is a beautiful port closure instrument what you have now and you can use it for port closure so this is a fantastic instrument which can be used for port closure now what you do you hide this knot first so you pull it like that and this knot will go into the eye of the various needle here it is hidden it is hidden it is done now what you do you take another suture take another 45 cm suture and the feed that suture 2 cm in the eye of this various needle so it is important that you feed this suture into the eye of the various needle only 2 cm not more than that and after that you will bend it bend it and you will hold it like a dart and then it is held like a dart you will hold like a dart and then you will go from one side again cannula will remain there cannula will not be removed and obliquely except a skin all the layer of the abdominal wall will be pricked and once it is pricked then keep the thumb over the larger suture larger suture and pull the loop suture out so we can see we are pulling the loop suture out and this various needle is out but this tip of the suture is still inside the abdomen here as you can see this various needle is out after that again you other side of the abdominal wall go without any suture just the loop of the various needle will be pricked and then you pull it it will make a bow shape and as soon as you make a bow shape automatically it will entangle your this suture and you can see very surprisingly this loop will pull the other suture out and both the end is out both the end is out and then you can tie the knot so here this is a loop is pulling the loop and the loop of the various needle will be pulled again i will show you this technique how to do you will take the suture and put the 2 cm of the suture into the eye of the various needle like this here you go and then bend both the suture and this both the suture and various needle you will hold like a dart and after that in the abdominal wall you will cannula will always be there cannula will not be removed or if the cannula is removed you have to put a thumb because all these port closure technique has to be done under vision so you will prick it on one side obliquely except a skin all the layers of the abdominal wall will be taken and after that you take the thumb and then pull it out and as you can see that this various needle is out but the main suture that is tying suture is already in 
So this is the beauty that it is in. Now you go with the other side, accept the accept the skin, all the layers, you will prick it. And as soon as you pull it, a bow will form. And this suture loop will entangle the abdominal inside abdominal suture and it will take it out and it is see it is coming out and it is pulling this suture out. Now both the end is out and after that you will simply tie a square knot or surgeon's knot and it will be closed. So this is various needle technique of the see it is closed and various needle technique of the port closure. This is also a very effective technique and it can be used in the cases where you want you don't have any other device you can use this simple technique to tie the port so these are the various techniques of port closure in the laparoscopic surgery if you don't have anything then simple Ellis forceps can be used to lift the rectus and take a bite with the curved needle but please make it sure very careful because that technique has been reported a lot of cases of the bowel obstruction fistulization and entrapment of the omentum or bowel because at the end of the surgery sudden gush of the gas has a tendency to plug the omentum or the bowel inside the wound and then in those situations it is very common that during the blind technique of the port closure you can have the complications and this should be avoided so any of these port closure technique you should adopt then these complications will not happen so thank you very much for watching this video have a nice day.